Hi everybody, well I did it. I managed to finish the uh, Fuga Magister in time for this week's videos. In the Belgian component livery from 1983 slash 84. I don't know how to pronounce it but it's Beer Set Station I think we're based at this particular example. Uh, two seat trainer aircraft mainly but I think they probably use it for uh, tactical training as well. Uh, I got the new paint from Extra Acrylics <coughs> excuse me it's Vietnam green it's uh, this one here I think yeah Vietnam green I was gonna sh focus there we are Unfortunately, it's a little bit satiny and the rest of it's uh, matte, so that's how it goes. But still, it gives a variation of green shades, which a little bit closer to each other than I wanted, but uh, there we are. Lots of decals on this, which were absolutely tiny. you got the uh, no-step decals, if that's going to... See little little yellow footprints with the X in. Yeah, they were very fiddly to put on, but uh, you've got to focus carefully. These were one of these wraparound decals, which always get on my nerves because they never work. <laughs> um, uh, the one on this side worked because I put a bit of decal soft on it. Uh, this when you put the decal soft on this side, I put too much, I think, or applied it wrongly. So that red paint, uh, red part is paint. The rest of it's decals though. And uh, I don't want to take too much time because I noticed my watch time is about six minutes. Uh, but 172 scale, originally tooled in 1976, I think, by Airfix. Now these these pito areas here, there should be two. But look at the size of them. Here's my, here's my, th my guitar playing thumb. My finger. I'm a little finger, little finger over there. Look, look at the size of that part. So, unsurprisingly, the other part fell off. There should be two, but uh, only those who know will know about it. And now you do as well, because I've told you. <laughs> uh, a lot of detail, really, but then you've got these, these big ring sort of size. Joint pieces here, hanger pieces. So that doesn't make much sense, but there we are. They, they're doing their best for 1970s. There's a lot of uh, actual detail in here, considering. Did a bit of painting afterwards. Bit of wibbly wobbly edging. Um, yeah, not a lot else to say about it. Of course, I got the uh, time you tape seat belts, which may or may not be. The right colour. Little uh, periscope for the guy in the back seat. You can see the person in the back seat. You can see the the one in the front seat. Probably was a guy in those days. But uh, try not to be sexist, as they say. In those days, in the RAF, you were told uh, women wouldn't stay in the RAF long enough. So they were discouraged. But uh, not these days, thank goodness. They've got a, all got a chance to prove themselves. Anyway, off a tangent. I'm not here to talk about gender equality and, and the armed forces. That's none of my business, and I'm not really that interested. Uh, um, the unique, except for all the other aircraft, uh, V-tail idea. Don't know many aircraft with a V-tail, especially not a military aircraft. So anyway, that's about it. I don't want to talk too much. Like I say. Uh, I've got the uh, front light, as usual, painted, big pa back paint the headlight with silver and then put it on with white glue so it uh, doesn't fog. And similarly, I put the canopy on with white glue and held it down in place with tape because it's quite quite a difficult fit. fit. You may not be able to see but it's, it's slightly off, there's a bit of a lip there, didn't quite fit. 
but uh, considering it's a 45 year old uh, and the rest tooling it's not bad and the cockpit itself is quite clear as you can see through things you see the uh, almost see if it's focused the control panels inside as well yeah I'm glad I built it and now on to the next which should be a Mark uh, GR4 Tornado and like the got a paints for those as well so got the some more extra acrylics from Hannah's grey and IF Darkseid grey and AMC Battle Grey. They were the nearest couples. Alright, bye bye. See you again.